In this new watch tutorial, we're going to continue on with the film mixing example and talk about the final output stage. Now, to begin with, we have a 5.1 main mix that all of the stem tracks are routed to. Um, right here, we have the dialogue, foley, sound effects, ambience, and music. All of these are routed to the 5.1 mix. Now, to make a stereo mix from this 5.1 mix, in Nuendo, it's fairly easy. What we're going to do is create a second VST mix output and call this a stereo mix, make it a stereo configuration. So now how are we going to get the 5.1 mix folded down into a stereo mix and then out of the second uh, VST output. Well, in Nuendo, it is possible to use an aux send between VST outputs. So let's go to the sends tab here. And what I can do is on the first aux send, I can create an aux send for just the 5.1 main mix output, and I can send it to the stereo mix. Turn this on, set it to unity gain. And that's as easy as it is. So now what's happening is, let me call up the uh, channel settings for the main mix, the 5.1 main mix output. What's happening is by routing a 5.1 channel to a stereo channel with less uh, signal channels than, than its source, Nuendo automatically will insert in the panning slot a mix convert plugin that converts from 5.1 to 2.0. And if I double click on this, we can have a look at the settings. So now here, we're finding out how much of the center channel is being mixed into the stereo mix, how much of the LFE channel is being mixed into the stereo mix, and how much of the surrounds are being blended into the stereo mix. So all six channels from the 5.1 main mix are being blended to some certain amount into the final stereo mix. And that's how we derive the stereo mix from the 5.1 in one simple step. There's no post-process required. This happens as a function of the mix console routing itself. Now, if you wanna make adjustments to the level of the center LFE and surround, that's fine. There's, there's other parameters you can adjust in there in the mix convert plugin. But all you have to do is route that aux end from one VST output to the next VST output and if it's a stereo configuration, this happens automatically. So when you go to export your final mix, you can simply tick the box to export the stereo mix as, as along with the 5.1 mix, and it's done. Also in the control room, it's possible to create an additional monitor source that is the, the stereo mix. So you can actually listen to this result. You gotta listen to it and make sure everything is sounding correctly. Uh, but once that's, established, it's very easy to export the mix down and uh, it makes the whole process very simple. So that's how we derive a stereo mix from the 5.1 main mix in the mix console. We'll be back with more tutorials.